Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Right, today's video. I went out this morning, went to go get some mushrooms. Yeah, but it's probably been the worst trip I've had in the last few weeks. I got maybe 10 in the, or 11, I've put some inside, but today I'm gonna make a quick porcini meal uh, that I made the other day for Kat and I. And I just wanted to show you what's possible if you're willing to get out there, give it a go and try to do some foraging. Mushrooms, I've got homegrown jalapenos, uh, homegrown garlic, I look like bad version of Harry Potter. We've got the mushrooms, of course, and the only thing I've paid for here is the noodles and the salt and the pepper. Right, so I'm gonna crack on. Enjoy the video, peace. Right, guys, so the first thing I wanna do is just slice the, the mushrooms up. Obviously, I haven't had a chance to check if these are full of worms properly yet, because I've literally just got back a little while ago. So if there are any full of worms, then we'll deal with that when that comes. But all I wanna do is just make relatively um, how can I say, they've got to be relatively thinly cut, same sort of size each, but I'm not too, like if you've seen any of my cooking videos, you'll know that I'm absolutely, I'm not precious about anything like this. I just do what tastes good. And uh, yeah, uh, for anybody stressing, don't worry, we have got tons of these mushrooms dried. I'm not performing some sort of sacrilege here. This is just something that we really, really enjoy. Um, I made it the other day and it is absolutely delicious. Um, even the kids enjoyed it and they're not huge fans of mushrooms. Oh, that one's a bit too wormy. I thought it might be. Let me just give him a cut down the middle. Have a look. Uh, he looks okay, but give them a few more slices just to check I'm not too concerned about the worms a little bit of added protein as you can see focus focus come on there you can see the holes in there that's just from the little worms that live in there I'm gonna probably leave that one I've got a few more in there uh, yeah you can see on the stalk as well stalks full of worm holes so we'll leave that one as well but yeah I'll cut these up and then I'll get back to you. Right, what I probably should have done first, guys, as you can see, I've had a bit of an accident. Uh, I probably should have cut the garlic first. A again, I'm not too precious about anything. It doesn't need to be finely chopped or anything like that. The, the main thing you want to do is get your flavor of your garlic into your butter before you chuck your mushrooms in. So I'll quickly slice, this plaster is making this a nightmare. This homegrown garlic always tends to peel a bit it's a bit of a mission to peel, but I'll tell you what, the flavor in this homegrown stuff, you can't beat it. And what's awesome about cooking outside, just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Right, so I'm just going to, am I actually in, sorry for the angle. I'm just trying to do this quick because it looks like we might have some rain. I was going to do this in the woods this morning, but it started chucking it down with the rain. All right, so that's pretty thin. I mean, again, like I say, it doesn't have to be precious. All right, so... That's done. On to the fun part. Right, guys, so we got our pan heating now. We're going to whack a knob of butter in there, bit of olive oil. It looks like a lot, but don't forget the, the mushrooms will soak it all in. So, yeah, it disappears pretty quick. I'm just going to finesse this garlic a little bit more. But, yeah, so. Again, I'd never get precious about cooking for me it's all about the taste not about how it looks or anything and i promise you this is amazing these mushrooms were growing probably two hours ago two and a half hours ago look at the mud still on the cooking on the chopping board don't be precious don't stress what's in the woods is not going to kill you a little bit of mud or grit trust me you'll be fine this pan's probably a bit of an overkill for this little gas cooker but yeah get that nice and hot Well, we whack these mushrooms in. Now I've used, I think it was four mushrooms all together. I'm going to use one more while this heats. I may as well slice it up. Right, that's getting hot. So I'll turn the gas down in a second. Right. We'll start chucking the mushrooms in now. As you can see, there's a bit of grit on there. Who cares? You know, it doesn't matter. It's not going to kill you. I promise you that it's not going to kill you. Now, you're probably thinking this is a bit overkill, but they shrink down quite a lot. And yeah, I can imagine there's a few Slovak people out there thinking I'm committing a bit of a sacrilege here cooking these porcinis like this. But like I said earlier, we have got 
an absolute ton of them drying in well dried inside in jars we got them in the freezer we've got mushrooms everywhere so i figured today's little harvest we'll do something nice with them something different not something nice cat will kill me if she hears me saying that let me put my wooden spoon right wooden spoon I'm gonna, gotta be careful i don't knock this pan off maybe whack that heat up a bit more they are cooking outside right i'll turn you off and i'll show you i'll turn you back on once something once the mushrooms have uh, fried down a bit and shrunk so i've got a last few of my jalapenos that are ready to pick now um i'm going to pick a couple of them off now cat and the kids don't like it too hot so i will have to remove the seeds but yeah i'll pick those off this is my little trees i've got loads of these as well we've dried a few of these um i'll only put two in today as you can see that tree's on its way out looking a bit sorry for itself but these guys these guys are amazing. So tasty. Right, so I'm just gonna cut these jalapenos up now. Cat doesn't like the chilies. I'll tell you what other the seeds and that it makes it too hot, but the chickens absolutely love chilies. It's quite weird, but so we'll just whack that down. Sorry, I bumped the camera. This is kind of difficult. I've got the camera sort of between my legs. <laughs> so we'll get that like that. This is tricky. I'm I've got one arm either side of the tripod. It's going to burn if it gets into my cut. So we'll get that. I know this knife seems a bit overkill, but it's like it's the weirdest thing. It's the cheapest, most rubbish knife we we bought. And I've actually brought it over from the UK with me because I love it. You know, you get like. You get attached to certain kitchen utensils when you use them all the time. And I love this knife. I don't know why. It's a cheap rubbish knife. As you can see, the blade's all chipped. Oops. Blade's all chipped, but it's super sharp and I love it. As you can see, I sliced my thumb earlier. Right, with these, you just want to... It doesn't have to be preciously cut. Like, again, like I see so many people like, oh, it's got to look good. No, I, I, yeah, of course, you eat with your eyes first. But I tend to... <laughs> I'll try anything, so it doesn't need to look good. It needs to taste good. And I've got some chili in this cut in my finger and it is on fire. Sorry, thumb. Someone will correct me, I'm sure. Right, that little end bit, I'll launch. Right, so there's the chili cut. So guys, the mushrooms have been in about three minutes now, four minutes. Well, the duration of while I was cutting the chili and a little bit before. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in just to draw out the, the moisture. This is pink Himalayan salt and just one, maybe two pinches of salt and a bit of pepper. Well, I don't know, you might be getting fogged up, which I apologize for. The wind has suddenly changed direction. But hopefully it's blowing some of that smell into you there, because if you love mushrooms, this smell is unbelievable. Now, as you can see, they, they look pretty slimy and gross at the moment. Don't worry, that'll change. I'm going to put that on a little bit longer just to draw out some of the moisture. And then once it's drawn out the moisture, we whack the heat on full so they don't burn. And yeah, it'll you'll see. Right, it's probably been about another three or four minutes now. And as you can see on the mushrooms there, they're starting to brown up a bit. So a lot of the moisture has come out now. I've taken the lid off and I've whacked it on full heat so that moisture can evaporate. And then it will also like help not crisp them up. We don't want to crisp them up. We just don't want them like really slimy little slugs. So, I mean, it still doesn't look that appetizing but I can promise you it is right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these jalapenos in now I'm gonna leave a few out actually no I'll whack them all in don't matter a few seeds hmm, you can smell you can smell the chili already it's really nice um, what I did the other day as well is I put peas and a bit of broccoli in there 
towards the end to make it almost like not a stir fry but yeah it was really nice but we don't we've run out of broccoli and i can't be bothered to go downstairs and get the peas from the freezer so this is what it is today right we're getting to the point now where all the li liquid's gone and i'm going to add some stock now it may seem counterintuitive but what i'm going to do is add some stock and cook the noodles directly in there one pan to wash, one chopping board to wash, and then plates. So, like, guys, I am not precious about any of this. Stick some stock in there. Scrape some of that goodness off the bottom of the pan. And you probably think it looks gross. Trust me, it's delicious. Right, got some... Noodles. Like that there. That there. A bit more stock over the top. Lid on till those noodles start softening up. And then we're nearly ready. Right, we're pretty much there guys once the noodles start softening turn it off don't overcook the noodles i know what you're thinking uh it probably doesn't look great but if i could i wish you could taste the flavor of this especially if you i mean if you don't like mushrooms you're not going to like this this little dish but if you love mushrooms and i tell you what it tastes even better knowing that i went and collected those mushrooms i grew the <laughs> jalapenos uh, the peas that we usually put in were all from our garden the garlic's from our garden. The only thing that we purchased there was the noodles. Okay, it's a big part of the dish. And uh, the salt and the pepper. So, yeah. What an awesome dish. I'm going to dish up now. We'll sit and have a chat. And that's going to be it for today. But yeah, that I'm going to turn the, the gas down. I'll turn it off. Put the lid back on. Let the, let the noodles soak up some of that juice. Cook in the residual heat. And yeah, I'm going to go get a plate and dish up. So there you have it guys, my uh, Puccini noodle jalapeno dish. It's, it may not look the best, but trust me, it's packed full of awesome mushroomy flavor. If you're not a big mushroom fan, obviously steer away. If you love mushrooms like I do, try this with any mushrooms. I promise you, it is delicious, it's tasty, it's quick, it's cheap as well, and like everybody loves it in our house, and it's, it's really good. So yeah, give it a try. Now that the thumbnail's taken, we can get rid of that and enjoy our meal. Right guys, that's it for today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, sorry, I just thought my daughter was coming. This little dish is quite amazing. It's so full of flavor and you can't go wrong with it, honestly. It may not look very appetizing, but trust me, it's, it's delicious. Um, mine's freezing cold now because obviously I've been sitting out here and taking food in, trying to get a photo, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Cold. But... It's delicious. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate your time. Have a great day. Peace.